Election day is now less than four weeks away, and tonight we heard from the last of the candidates running for city council. Our forum in District 10, which is mostly west of Mopac along Lake Austin, 360 and 2222, wrapped up just moments ago, and KXCN's Angie Bevan has more. The forum was here at the LCRA Redbud Center. There are eight candidates running for the District 10 seat. Tonight, we heard many of the issues that have come up in the previous nine forums. Three candidates have previously run for city council, and a few of the others have run for county or state offices. Others have served on city boards and commissions. I heard a lot of good things tonight. Uh, many of the candidates seem to be well informed and uh, really want to help Austin. Like most of Austin, District 10 has families concerned with growing traffic problems and rising property taxes, among other issues. I would say the traffic for sure, especially with the construction on MOPAC, and then property taxes. Mm -hmm. um, they are outrageous. And so it's just something that I hope our council member goes to City Hall and is able to discuss those two issues right now. Some of my main concerns include traffic, uh, overcrowding in schools, uh, the environment. District 10 is the least diverse district with more than three quarters being non-Hispanic white. Candidates also talked about trying to lower utility rates to keep Austin more affordable. Candidates here tonight and ones we've heard from in other forums say that they would audit the water utility and Austin Energy. Reporting in West Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. And a forum for the candidates for Austin Mayor coming up next Wednesday. You can watch tonight's forum and the ones we've hosted for all the other council districts. That's at KXAN.com.